What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> we have another sauce review. Um, I found this on Amazon. I've had this a long time. A long time. Um, I've only seen one other person review it. That was Joe at Heat Up. Check his channel out. Also check out Steve at Heat My Shorts. Check out Tom Bailey. Funky Food with Dave. Uh, Tony the Pineappler. Colton at Rock and Heat. Um, Larry's Chili and Aquatics, I believe it is called. <laughs> um, Larry D's Chili and Aquatics, I believe it is. Check his channel out. Um, can't think anymore off the top of my head. But uh, if anybody's out there watching, plug your channel in the description. I don't care. That's fine with me. Uh, I think that's everybody that I can think of right now. Apologies to whoever I did forget. Oh, Caroline Snack Adventures. Check hers out too. Her and her mom do a great job there. And uh, so check those channels out. I always forget to do a lot of shout outs. I need to start doing more. But anyway, uh, yeah, Joe at Heat Up's the only person I've ever seen reviewed this before. It's been a long time ago. That's probably been maybe almost a year. I've had probably had this sauce over a year. But I did find it on Amazon and I think we paid like seven bucks for it. Never heard of the company. Figured I'd give it a try. This is distributed by Sticker Mule. Uh, excuse me, out of Amsterdam, New York. You can find them at mulesauce.com. And this is their mule sauce. And there's their information there. It says it's a four out of five on heat. I'm gonna disagree with that. I can guarantee you this ain't eight out of ten to me. But um it says hot sauce that kicks ass. Found it in Amsterdam, Amsterdam, New York. I really know right up on it, so we'll just uh right here. Read the ingredients. It says featuring a trio, featuring a trilogy of habanero, yellow scotch bonnet, and boots lokia chilies. The ingredients are red bell pepper, distilled vinegar, onions, pure cane sugar, brown sugar, which is cane sugar molasses, red habanero pepper mash, which is red habanero peppers and salt, jalokia pepper mash, which is boot jalokia peppers and salt, yellow scotch bonnet pepper mash, which is yellow scotch bonnet peppers and salt, and lemon juice, garlic, ginger root, and xanthan gum. So it has. Habanero, ghost, and scotch bonnet. It might be spicy. We'll see. Give it a shaky shake. And, uh, oh, somebody else I forgot to plug here while we're here. <laughs> while I'm using her spoon, the Pepper Princess. Check her out on YouTube, too. My apologies to the Pepper Princess for forgetting to plug her channel. Like I said, I know there's others I've forgotten. I apologize. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Well, here's the consistency of it. It does, like I say, it does look a little darker on cam. But there's your consistency. Hope you can see that. It's eh, your normal sauce consistency. Oh, no. But they did it. They did it. Flow restrictor. Don't do that at home, kids. Now, we'll give it a smell test. Oh, yeah. Get the scotch bonnet, get the red pepper, that brown sugar. Uh oh. Hopefully, it'll burn my nose. Burn my nose. A little hint of the ghost. <clears throat> okay, I'll see ya. Me hint of that scotch bonnet too. But we're gonna give it a good shaky shake. And we're gonna do the Steve Gillespie show the label why you pour. Okay, nice red colored sauce. Smells great. Here's what it looks like on the spoon. And here's what it looks like of me trying it. <clears throat> uh, this is from Mule Sauce by Sticker Mule. Cheers. Wow. That's a sweet sauce. Obviously with the sugar and the brown sugar. I mean... 
Yeah, I mean, that is the fourth and fifth ingredients. My bottle. Definitely get that red bell pepper. Get the sugar. A little bit of heat from the ghost and the hob and the scotch, but not much, actually. Um, I definitely get a hint of that ginger root. I'm not a big fan of ginger, so I could, I could from, uh, I'm not a big fan of ginger, so I pick it up pretty easily. Even though the only ingredient it's above on the list is xanthan gum, but I'm gonna tell you what, this is a damn good sauce. Mm. My bottle. That's really good. Um, a little bit of lip burn. I like the tingle from it. Not overly powering heat. Like I say, it's on the sweeter side, so if you don't like sweet sauces, you're not gonna like this. But um, I like it. That red bell pepper flavor in there is real nice with the hot peppers and the sugar in that. Little hint, like I say, hint of the ginger, not much. Pretty good. <clears throat> I would put the heat level about a two. Feeling it a little bit right here. Flavor, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. <coughs> Excuse me. Sinuses are draining, it's just a pain. Anyway, um, yeah, I'd give it an eight out of 10. That's a that's damn good sauce. I mean, it, it, it doesn't kick you in the ass, but I, I'd say it kicks ass. I would definitely put this on some grilled chicken, maybe a dip for chicken tenders. <coughs> um, maybe salmon, maybe, I'm thinking. It's pretty good. It's really good. I would say give it a try. I'm pretty sure. I think it's still on Amazon, too. But there it is. Mule sauce by Sticker Mule. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Definitely 8 out of 10. Two on heat. Really good sauce. I'll be using that real quick. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you next time. Hopefully.